Hey there fellas, uh, so very quick guide, or at least as fast as I can, about um, making Kingdom Hearts 3 on PC run in ultra wide. So I posted a video before with the instructions, or at least like, you know, a link to a PC gaming wiki, where you have all the instructions for it. Uh, but a few people said that it was, that they would need like a video of me showing how you do it. Um, so that's okay, uh, I'll just show you how to do it. Uh, so first of all you need to go to your uh, Kingdom Hearts 3 binaries win64 folder. Then you need to find the Kingdom Hearts 3.exe file. Uh, you also need um, a hex editor. I personally use HXD, but you can use whichever one you have. Uh, it's free, by the way, that you don't have to pay anything, you can just go on Google and download it. So now, what you need to do is, first of all, you should probably make a backup of your .exe file, so all you should do is, like, copy and paste inside the same folder, and, like, you know, just rename it to something else. Like, backup1. The hex editing software it usually does it by itself, as you can see here. I have a backup, a dot back file, but it doesn't hurt to have one done by yourself, right? So anyway, I'm not going to do it with this file because uh, it's already been modified. So I will be doing it with this file. Uh, so you want to drag the Kingdom Hearts 3 .exe file. So, which should be this one, remember, uh, mine is already modified, so I can't show it on here, so I'm just using a, another backup. Just need to do this. So, you just need to drag it in. Then you have a lot of numbers and letters, and if you're feeling lost, it's okay. Uh, don't worry, it's very easy. So now, you need to go to the PC Gaming Wiki link, you will still need it, alright? Because you have values that you have to copy and paste. Anyway, so once you have that page open, you will have a link here, right here, to the common hex values for your aspect ratio. So if you're using 1080p ultra wide, you have a specific value, same if you're using uh, 1440p ultra wide, if you're using 600p or if you are using 32 by 10 or 32 by 9 all right so you will need to use one of these values that are on the right so in my case since i'm using a 1080p ultra wide monitor i'm going to pick this value which is for the 1080p ultra wide monitors right see 26 b 4 17 40. that's the value i will use now go back to this page once you have your value whatever it's called, I don't know, it's like byte or hexa value, I don't care. Uh, and then, uh, so you go to step one, pilot box fix. Uh, so what you need to do is search for AC, AB, etc, etc. So you go uh, copy this, you just copy this, then you go back to HXD, and you do search, then you do search again, hex values, you paste this, you make sure to check in all directions, and you click OK, and there you go, you have the value that you have to modify. And here it says that you have to replace the four first bytes, or whatever they are, uh, before the 39, with the hex value for the desired screen aspect ratio. So you go back to this page, right, where you have your value for your aspect ratio. You pick the one that fits your screen, again in my case it's 1080p, okay? And now, you can actually modify the part you need to modify. So you can just do this, Look. done. So this is the idea for every single of these values. I'll continue on, but if you've got, if you understand how this works now, you can just, you know, close the video. Uh, I'll do everything properly. Okay, uh, so that's done. Next, search for C7, very long, etc, etc. 
and then you have to replace the end which is just this part again with the value of your monitor resolution so you go back to HSD you do search search again you paste what you found make sure as always that all directions is toggled then you click OK and here you have it it's here so now you go get your nice little value for your monitor resolution still using a 1080p monitor and you replace the last four bytes with it there you go then you do the same for every single one of these copy search paste okay go back pick your value again remove the last four boom once again do this search yes okay let go okay this step is not down uh, we're done with this so now third step you grab all this and then you need to go to replace you need to put it in search and then put the one that you have to use in replace with then you have to make sure that all directions is toggled again and if you want to make extra sure you can click this that it confirms that you're actually replacing something so now you click OK and then you click OK and that's been replaced so final step you're going to search for this value right here and replace it with whichever value fits your aspect ratio so this one is for 21 by 9 this one is for 32 by 9 and the final one is for triple monitor so I'm going to go with this one because I have a 21 by 9 1080p monitor so you're going into search replace X values then you paste the first one that you need to replace into search and the one you're going to replace with in replace with all directions confirm click OK then yes and you are finished now just save and you can launch the game so uh, this fixes in-game cutscenes gameplay uh, anything that has in-game models like Ratatouille minigame uh, Gumi spaceship you have the right FOV um, you have the right aspect ratio uh, the only problem quote unquote is that you have not stretched UI so it's not a problem it's actually good because it's not stretched right but the problem is that if you look a bit too much you see that the UI for the comments and the HP is actually cut on the left and right respectively if it bothered you it, it should not bother you too much um, but that's just something to note but it's very minor besides that everything is perfect um, obviously pre-rendered cutscenes are not affected by all of this because pre-rendered cutscenes are .mp4 files that we can't retouch, right? Uh, but 99% of the game is now playable in ultra wide. Uh, there's still some a few issues left that have not been fixed by PC Gaming Wiki or at least not at the time I'm making this video uh, in like one of the worlds I think it's Rapunzel's where you end up going back to 16 by 9 for like a few seconds for no reason while crossing a gap uh, but besides that the game is perfect so yeah uh, if you have any problems with uh, your exe file after doing all this i recommend doing it from the start uh, like just take your backup file and go through the instructions again because chances are something messed up 
might have been you, and I hope it's not been me, <laughs> really. Uh, but yeah, uh, that's what happened to me. I had like a problem with my X file. I could not open it. It's because I had not read my uh, this instructions properly, right? So I just redid it on a new uh, exe file that I had backed up before, and then it worked fine. Uh, if you have any comments in this comments to make about this, feel free to. Um, if you have any requests for me to um, upload specific cutscenes in 21 by 9, uh, do tell me also so I can note it down. Um, just know that I'm going through the game at my own pace. I have I've never spoiled spoiled myself. I kind of know what to expect. I've played the other games before. Uh, but yeah, I don't have finished the game yet, but I'll, you know, upload the cutscenes if I can. Alright, that's it. Enjoy. Have a good day. See ya.